Welcome to this tutorial where I'll guide you through deploying a smart contract using Layer 0. This powerful technology enables sending messages from one blockchain to another, a cornerstone in today's interconnected blockchain ecosystem. Layer 0 provides a unique solution for cross-chain communication, enabling smart contracts to interact across different blockchain networks. This ability to send messages from one chain to another is a game changer in blockchain technology, offering unprecedented flexibility and interoperability. Throughout this tutorial, we'll see how Layer 0 acts as a bridge, facilitating these cross-chain interactions, preparing the environment. First, let's open our web browser. For this tutorial, we're using the Remix IDE, accessible directly through your browser. It's a versatile tool for developing Ethereum smart contracts, ideal for what we're about to do. Although Remix is great for testing and prototyping, remember that for larger production grade projects, you might consider more robust environments like Hardhat or Foundry. Now that we're in the Remix IDE, let's start with the default application. This opens automatically the first time you start Remix. This application comes with three smart contracts. We'll focus on the storage contract, which is key for our layer zero application. The storage contract is simple yet fundamental. It contains a variable to store numbers and two functions, one to store or write the numbers on the blockchain and another to retrieve or read them. Our task is to modify this contract, enabling it to store numbers not just on a single chain, but across different blockchains. This showcases the cross-chain capabilities of Layer 0. Layer 0 Scan is a vital tool for monitoring cross-chain transactions. It provides visibility into the movement of data across different blockchains, which is crucial when working with Layer 0 technology. Through Layer 0 Scan, we can track the status of our cross-chain transactions, ensuring that they are successfully executed and validated across the networks. This tool is essential for debugging and verifying the operations of our Layer 0 applications. Finally, we need to verify that MetaMask, our cryptocurrency wallet, is properly connected to the Optimism and Polygon networks. MetaMask will facilitate our transactions on the blockchain. Ensuring this connection allows us to deploy our smart contract to the Optimism network and interact with it. It's vital to check this connection to avoid any transaction issues during the deployment and testing phases. Additionally, we need to ensure that our Optimism account is sufficiently funded with ETH to pay the transaction fees for deploying and configuring the smart contract. If you haven't set up these networks in MetaMask, you can click the Add Network button to do so. Modifying the smart contract. We begin by loading our basic storage smart contract in the Remix IDE. This contract initially allows us to store and retrieve numbers on the blockchain. Our objective is to modify this contract to enable storing numbers across different blockchains using Layer 0. Firstly, we import the lzapp.sol file from Layer 0. This import is crucial as it includes functionalities required for cross-chain communication. Once pasted into Remix, the IDE automatically fetches this library, along with its dependencies. The next significant change is modifying the contract to extend the Layer 0 app smart contract. This is done by adding an ISLZ app notation and adding a constructor, which ensures our contract can interact with the Layer 0 endpoint, which is essential for sending messages across chains. Depending on the use case, you may want to use the LZ app or another abstract smart contract which is a smart contract that requires it to be used by another in order to function. Please refer to the Layer 0 documentation for further details. We then modify the store function to include a destination chain ID, making the function payable to handle the cross-chain transfer fees. Additionally, we call the Layer 0 send function, which sends the payload to the destination chain. Furthermore, we overwrite the Layer 0 receive function. This function is called when our contract receives a number from a different chain allowing our contract to update its storage variable accordingly. It decodes the payload and sets that number internally. Compilation and deployment preparations. Once we've modified our smart contract, the next crucial step is compilation. In Remix IDE, we compile the smart contract to prepare it for deployment. This process translates our Solidity code into bytecode that the Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM, can execute. It's vital to ensure that all changes are saved and that there are no syntax errors in the code before proceeding with compilation. Now, navigate to the Solidity compiler. A key aspect to consider during compilation is the EVM version compatibility. Specifically for deploying on Optimism, it's important to note that Optimism does not currently support the push zero opcode found in the latest version of the EVM. Therefore, we need to adjust the compiler settings in Remix. Instead of using the latest version, which includes this opcode, we switch to the Paris version. 
This version is compatible with Optimism and avoids potential deployment issues related to opcode compatibility. Once we've selected Paris, click the Compile button, deploying the smart contract. Configuring MetaMask correctly is essential for successful deployments. Ensure MetaMask is set up for both Optimism and Polygon networks. This involves adding both networks to MetaMask and switching between them as needed during the deployment process. Having both networks configured allows for seamless interaction and transaction confirmation. Sometimes you may encounter network related issues. In such cases, consider using tools like Blockdaemon's API for network diagnostics. This can be particularly helpful if you're experiencing connectivity or transaction confirmation issues. Now head over to the deploy tab. When deploying, it's crucial to select the injected provider option in Remix. This option allows Remix to connect with MetaMask enabling the deployment of the smart contract through the MetaMask interface. This step is vital for ensuring that the deployment process is controlled and authenticated through your MetaMask wallet. Ensure you have Optimism selected in MetaMask. After compiling our smart contract, we proceed with the deployment. We start with deploying to Optimism. In the deploy field, we need to pass in the endpoint of the current chain, also known as the source chain. In this case, it's Optimism. Enter the required details, such as the layer zero endpoint address for Optimism obtained from the layer zero documentation. Paste it into the deploy field in Remix. After reviewing the details, click deploy to initiate the deployment. We now have a smart contract. The same process is repeated for Polygon with the necessary adjustments to the network and endpoint details. Select Polygon in MetaMask. Ensure the custom network in Remix is Polygon. Switch to the Polygon endpoint as found in the Layer 0 documentation. Paste this endpoint into the Deploy field. Click Deploy. One limitation in the Remix IDE is that it is not visible on which chain a smart contract is deployed. So we need to remember that the first smart contract is deployed to Optimism and the second to Polygon. Setting Trusted Remotes. To enable cross-chain communication between the smart contracts, the destination smart contract and chain needs to be configured as trusted remotes. For instance, when setting up communication from Optimism to Polygon, enter Polygon's chain ID and the address of the smart contract deployed to Polygon. This step is crucial for the Layer 0 protocol to establish trust and facilitate message transfer across different blockchains. There are two methods in our smart contract for setting a trusted remote. We use the function set remote address, which converts the address into the correct format for us. First, we will set up the trusted remote for our smart contract on Optimism. As before, ensure that MetaMask is connected to Optimism. Our destination chain is Polygon. Copy the chain ID from the layer zero documentation. Paste this into the field shown on screen. It is important to note that the layer zero chain IDs are different from the native chain IDs. So make sure to look up the correct values in the layer zero documentation. Set the remote address to the smart contract deployed on Polygon, which is found further down the page. Click transact. Next, we will repeat that process with the smart contract deployed on Polygon. Switch to the Polygon network on MetaMask. Close the Optimism smart contract and open the Polygon smart contract. Set the trusted remote. In this case, the chain ID is Optimism. The remote address is the Optimism smart contract. Click transact. Setting up trusted remotes for all combinations of source and destination chains can become quite cumbersome. Layer 0 provides a utility script to simplify this process for more complex applications. Now, we're ready to send a transaction from Optimism to Polygon. Executing cross-chain transactions. We initiate a cross-chain transaction beginning on the Optimism network. Once again, switch to the Optimism network in MetaMask. Select the smart contract deployed on Optimism in Remix. In the store function, enter the number you wish to store. Ensure that the destination chain ID is correctly set to Polygon's chain ID. Because this transaction involves cross-chain communication, it's important to include sufficient ETH in the value field to cover the fees, ensuring the transaction is successfully relayed. Once these details are added, click Transact. After initiating the transaction, copy the transaction hash. Use the layer zero scanner to verify its status. This tool provides real-time tracking of the transaction as it moves across blockchains. Enter the transaction hash to view details like its current status and if it's still in transit. Once the transaction is confirmed in the layer zero scanner, switch to the Polygon network in MetaMask and interact with the deployed contract there. Call the retrieve function to check if the stored number from Optimism is successfully reflected. We can indeed see that the contract on Polygon has the number 42 stored. This confirms the success of the cross-chain transaction. In this comprehensive guide, we've journeyed through the intricate process of deploying a layer zero cross-chain user application. We started in the Remix IDE, setting up and modifying a storage smart contract to enable cross-chain functionality. The integration of layer zero was pivotal, involving importing LZ app 
and modifying functions like store and LZ receive for cross-chain messaging. Every step taken was crucial in building a robust and functional cross-chain application. Modifying the smart contract to incorporate Layer Zero's capabilities laid the foundation for seamless blockchain interactions. The careful compilation and deployment procedures ensured the smart contract operated effectively on both Optimism and Polygon networks. Executing cross-chain transactions demonstrated the practical application of the deployed contract, showcasing the real-world utility of Layer Zero technology in bridging different blockchain ecosystems. The key takeaways from this tutorial include the importance of precise smart contract modification for cross-chain functionality, understanding the nuances of blockchain-specific requirements, such as Optimism's opcode limitations, and the practical aspects of deploying and interacting with smart contracts in a cross-chain environment. This tutorial not only provided a step-by-step -step guide, but also emphasized the critical understanding needed to navigate the Layer Zero ecosystem effectively. For more deep dives into Layer Zero and the wider Web3 ecosystem, be sure to subscribe to Block Daemon's YouTube channel, or reach out to us today to learn more about Block Daemon's products and services.